Our world is changing. At no time in history have we been so connected by technology, so empowered by innovation. Many of us are living longer than any generation before, a direct result of better nutrition, sanitation and improving health care. Universal access to medicine is undeniably transforming lives. Yet at the same time, the growth in pharmaceuticals across the world also raises the threat of adverse reaction to drugs. To help protect patients, we must ensure the public are not harmed by the very medicines created to cure them. Today, this watchdog role is being played out in 150 countries by the Uppsala Monitoring Centre and its global partners. Uppsala Monitoring Centre was established 40 years ago to support the World Health Organization network of countries working together for safer use of medicines. UMC is an independent Swedish foundation working closely with WHO. Our purpose is to tackle one of the big questions in human health care. How can we make sure that patients get the maximum benefit from their medicines and suffer the least harm? How can we build global solutions for safer medicines? From day one, our ambition was clear. In collaboration with WHO, to work with partners across the globe to encourage reporting of adverse effects of medicines, to record and understand them, and reduce the risk of their happening again. This is the safety monitoring of medicines, the science known as pharmacovigilance. As we enter a new century, innovation promises to narrow the chances of adverse drug effects. Yet in remote islands like Capo Verde, medicine safety remains one of the most unknown aspects of healthcare, despite at times being the difference between life and death. Here, off the coast of West Africa, health professionals like Jamila Rees understand that face-to-face -face advocacy and education must be placed at the core of public health missions to inform and protect the public. Health is a fundamental human right. My journey is to cause an impact and assure that people has access to medicine. My brother and I do jokes that that was a legacy from our parents. They were so connected with this struggle for the independence of Cape Verde, of serving Cape Verde, that we are both public servants. The discussion was how to be useful to Cape Verde how to make this country a better place. This gave me a sense of purpose. Being a pharmacist, I always related this with medicine. The unique challenges here in terms of pharmacovigilance in Cape Verde. We know now that people really don't understand what is a medicine, how to use it correctly, that the medicines also have a risk when you take it. An example is the use of a medicine that should be used as a gastric protector, but it's being used for abortion by adolescent. And then they reach the hospital. Sometimes it's possible to save their life, but they will never be pregnant again. They will never be mothers again. We want a better use, a safer use of the medicines. The patients are really the reason why we're doing all this. For organizations like UMC, culture, economic class and borders are no barrier to effective pharmacovigilance. What is clear today is that no medicine is 100% safe for all people. The guiding principle of UMC from day one remains unchanged to work with other agencies across the globe to catalogue adverse drug effects, no matter where, no matter how small. To be the warning sign, a clear and rational voice amongst a sea of misinformation. There are no pharmacovigilance system in the world that can work by itself, just limited to one country. 
or databases will mean nothing if we are not sharing information. We need to know what has already been discovered, what already been studied in other countries. And for that, UMC has a really important role. If we connect to other countries, to other experience, it's maybe the case that we can really take measures before it hurts people. What we do matters more than ever because people are living longer, having access to complex medicines. So it's really necessary to improve the pharmacovigilance systems. It's something that we cannot live without. Thank you.